morning guys, morning YouTube people, everywhere, people walk around, of the no noise ram, <coughs> just want to show you real quick, <coughs> and I'll explain it in the truck, well, I don't know if you can see that world right there, A black weld. Man, this thing is so quiet. Uh oh. Oh no. Something's in the truck. I guess it just automatically idles up when it's cold. <coughs> so anyway, uh, about that weld that you just saw. Um. That's me, I had to TIG weld it because the exhaust, that downpipe that I got, I got from a guy, I've told the story a couple times. Anyway, the exhaust that was on this truck was completely plugged. I'd cleaned it all out, cleaned everything out. Um, I ran it through emissions. It, it ran through emissions one time fine. Well, a guy at work from our signal department, the railroad he uh, he had bought a 2012 Dodge diesel truck back in 2011 or 2012 and he had them uh, he had a company put a lift kit and exhaust tuner basically basically everything that this truck has or had um, so he had that he had his stock emissions uh, catalytic converter diesel particulate filter uh, he had all that stuff and uh, I bought it from him for 400 bucks so I bought factory front springs brand new factory shocks all the way around brand new uh, all the EGR stuff and his full exhaust for 400 bucks and it had 800 miles or less <clears throat> he doesn't remember he knows that he said it had 400 miles and then he told me he thinks it had 800, but whatever. Anyway, it's brand new. So when they took it off, they ended up cutting it because you have to drop the uh, the uh, cross member for the transmission to get that cat out, or you gotta have to drop the whole transmission down to get that that whole downpipe catalytic converter out. So they ended up just cutting it. So I put it all back on. Uh, I bought a clamp. It's called a a clamp seal or something it's a real wide band uh, it's about four or five inches uh, wide and it's just a big strap and you're supposed to be able to get rid of exhaust leaks or whatever with it so I bought it put the exhaust on and uh, my wife and me drove around forever we drove around we put on I want to say 200 miles trying to set these readiness codes can see him or not uh, anyway so we set all of them driving around except for those three um, the three are the NMHC catalyst uh, the Knox NOX SCR monitor and the uh, PM filter monitor so particulate matter filter <coughs> anyway so uh, while we were driving around, we were getting a lot of exhaust fumes in here because of that strap or that band uh, wasn't wasn't holding up. It was allowing a lot of exhaust to go around it, so I had an exhaust leak, basically a really big exhaust leak. So <clears throat> we have our uh, EGT EGT uh, Bank One Sensor One. So it's at 222 degrees. Anyway, when we were driving around, um, we were getting like 500 degrees at the most. And then when I welded it all up, I'm getting around 500, or sorry, 700, like 680 to 800. Um, and that's what you're supposed to get because it was allowing a lot of the hot air that's supposed to heat up the... Uh, diesel particulate filter 
the whatever DPF and uh, the cats so it was allowing a lot of air to go by uh, out the exhaust so anyway I'm just using my <coughs> my OBD scanner it's the ELM something I don't remember what it was I've had that scanner forever <coughs> and a cell phone because I have the <coughs> I have the pro app on this phone that's my old Samsung Note 5 or something um, and they don't have it on iPhone I don't believe I don't know I don't really care I just carry this phone with me it's always in my backpack and stuff so anyway uh, yeah this morning I'm gonna go to the swap meet uh, I'm gonna drive it some more I drove it around yesterday about 40 something miles uh, I drove it yeah 40 something miles yesterday after I welded the cat all up um, I TIG welded that so if you want to critique my TIG welding go ahead I'm new to TIG welding but I think I did a pretty good job at it it came out really really clean um, it only burned through on one spot um, I had one hole that I had to add material um, filler rod but basically I didn't really use much filler rod I had everything butted up uh, really tight. I had everything straight, exactly where it needed to go. I had, you know, my little angle magnets and everything holding it all up. So, anyway, came out pretty good. I think it came out pretty good. Um, and then I painted it a little bit black, so that the paint will burn off, so it'll look like it's been there from the factory. <laughs> because if a emissions guy during the uh, visual inspection, emissions guy might look at it and go no you altered the exhaust so I hope they don't if they do I'll have to seek other ways to get emissions done I have to pay some money um, but if uh, yeah whatever hopefully they will they, the guys I go to are pretty cool um, unless they have a California representative there then they they basically look at me and chew me away but anyway I'm gonna go drive around I'm just gonna go to the swap meet, check out stuff, and then after that, I'm gonna get on the freeway and drive, drive, drive. So I had a full tank uh, when I started. Um, I cleared my thing yesterday. So yesterday, oh wow, yesterday I did 79.7 uh, .7 miles yesterday driving around. So, anyway, if you don't have to reset uh, your check engine light or whatever, try not to. Don't just clear codes because it's fun. Um, because this isn't fun. So, anyway, I'll keep you updated. I'll uh, let you know. So, 79 miles. So, we'll see how many more miles I have to drive before they uh, set. And I'll, uh, that'll be the next video. Or not the next video, the next part of this video. So, stay tuned. Well guys, let's see, 79, 145.4 miles, so 70, almost 70 miles, and only one got completed, so two more to complete, anyway, California allows you to have two incompletes. Um, so I just took it to a smog dude and he, whatever, guy acted like he was doing me some big favor. He's like, oh, it's not going to pass, but I'll pass you. So make sure you give me a tip. I'm like, you're allowed to have two California law, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, whatever. So I passed, passed emissions. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I ended up going to Harbor Freight spent 190 bucks and tomorrow I'll probably be spending about 1200 to 1500 maybe even two thousand dollars to register this beast in California yay me anyway uh, yeah so I'm gonna head home I don't know when those will ever clear or be completed I don't really care at this point because the truck passed emissions um, I will 
Eh, maybe I won't update you guys on how many miles it took, uh, just due to the fact that I probably won't have this phone in the scanner plugged in. But anyway, this is the swap meet. These crazies. The swap meet I go to. So, anyway, I'm going to go home. I picked up some food for me and the kid. The kid and me, however you want to word it. So, alright guys, thanks for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Uh, follow me. Follow my channel. I do stupid stuff. Not really like stupid, but just like blab about nothing like I am right now. Anyway, subscribe. Like. Give me a like. Thumbs up. Comment below. Um, I will be doing another video. Uh, that'll be for tomorrow's video. Um, bought a compressor for my air compressor because my compressor is about to throw a rod. So, alright guys, thanks for watching. Later.